Oh my God. Hey, it's me. It's Vanity. Ah, oh, welcome back to my channel. Ah. Oh. Okay. So today I am going to do something uh, creative. I'm doing some creative work for Courtney. She's got a thing happening and, um, and I'm going to make a latex skull cap. She's going to have, we're doing like a fabulous headdress for her. And anyway, so is quite simple, but it's very trick. Now this is an example you can see here, latex. This is a little wig that I made for myself quite a few years ago. And you know what? Look, crystals on wigs, on, on, on molded solid wigs, all oh, revolutionary. I made this years ago, and this is one that I made in 2011. So, you know, as usual, did it first. <laughs> anyway, this is quite fun. This is really beautiful. If I only wore this once, look at, look at that. Oh. Oh, oh, uh. Now, um, it's not going to be this, but it is going to be this base. I'm just showing you for the base and to show off the fact that I did this fucking first. Okay, <laughs> so we need a few little things. I'm going to do it on Courtney's head block rather than on her actual head because I have her block and it just makes life much easier. We're going to need a few things. Chucks. I mean, I don't know what they call it. I think Chucks is the brand once again and we, we just call them Chucks, but they're like dishcloths, you know, like the... You know, you get them on a roll or a thing. Anyway, you cut them up into little strips and they're good because they're like, they're really light and they're, they're transparent, they're meshy. So the latex goes through and then let me pick you up. Take you over to the craft corner with the terrible lighting. It was massive tub, huge, giant tub of latex, which I acquired from Chelsea Bond from House of Silla. Um, so that's good. That won't run out. And I you will be using my trusty old hood dryer. So the first thing I'm going to do is wrap this in um, cling film, saran wrap or whatever it's called, or glad wrap or I don't know. And then we're going to get started and we'll do it layer by layer. Okay. But I'll, I'll show you that when it's happening. Okay. Hmm. Be right back. Okay. Well, I, ha I have hit a snag. <laughs> I don't seem to be able to, I don't know which way. I mean, if I stuck that up there. I do remember it. Into oh, oh, I can hear it. It's coming. Come on. Just gotta finger you until you, until you shoot your load. Come on. Come on. There is a thing here, but uh, oh, I can't do that because of my arm. I can't take. That's not coming off. No, it's, it's got to come out through here. But I don't. I don't. <laughs> this might be a problem. <laughs> oh, okay, I gotta work here. I got some juice. <laughs> oh, such a big load. Oh, it's very watery. I'm hoping that it doesn't go off or anything like that. I mean, I'm never gonna get through that huge tub, you know. Like, so I better, I better work. I'm sure it will. We'll see. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this in glad wrap, and I'll be back. So I've got my little bowl. I'll put it in there. That is designed to sit in there. We oh, can't see that. Never mind. Um, now all I'm going to do is dunk. Oh, you should be able to see this. Oh, look. Can you? See? Oh. Okay. Well, I'm going to be completely out of shot. You won't be able to see my beautiful face, but that's fine. It's about the work. So, let's dunk this in. Actually, actually, before I do that. Oh, it's very watery. I wonder if it's like needs to be shaken up. Uh, uh, anyway, I'm going to put a little um, protecting thing down on the carpet. One second. Uh, and I know I'm looking very shabby today, but I'm doing messy work. So, you know, and also I, I have my, um, my fourth COVID vaccine, like my, my booster, my second booster the, the other day. And I thought I was fine, but I'm definitely feeling something. It's like my brain isn't working properly, so forgive me. Anyway, anyway, okay, so we do this, and then we just lay it over like a bandage, and we continue that. Try not to um, overlap it too much. Like, we, we are gonna do multiple layers, but the more you overlap it and make that, um, oh yeah, thank God I put that down. That's like drop, dripping everywhere. Um, if you make them too thick, in each layer, then you run the risk of it not drying internally or taking a long time to dry. So 
Just one simple layer. And these are great for um for building shit on. Like, I mean, it's like a, it's like a, um, I guess it's a, a modern version of a skull cap, a traditional sort of drag skull cap. But the good thing about this is because the latex is sticky, when it's on, it really grips the hair. Like, and grips the head. And it forms perfectly to your shape of your head. I mean, if you were doing this for yourself, I've done it on myself before, um, and it is annoying, but it is worth the work. Um, and you just have to be patient and just, you know, wrap your head in cling film and do the same process on your actual head. And it is good if you've got a dry eye. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Look, here we go. Oh my God, I've made such a bit. Oh, I am like, I'm dripping. No, it's working, it's stinging my eyes, so it's like, it's happening. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue doing this until one layer is done complete. And then I'll stick under the dryer and let it really cure for a while. But it won't take long because it's only one layer. Oh, hi, you can see me. Hi there. I'm making such a mess. Messy work. Creative work is often messy. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, I don't think it's supposed to be this drippy, y'all. I think maybe the latex has gone bad. I'm just hoping it still works. And that tub is so big, you can't give it a good shake. What's that there? Is it hers? No. Okay, okay. Let me wash my hands and be back. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna get that under the dryer and see what happens. Hopefully, hopefully this works. Oh my God, look at this mess. <laughs> Thank God I put that down. Imagine if I didn't put that down. I've got a couple of spots on the carpet. Oh. My landlord Michael's gonna kill me, but he, it's a studio. What I might do actually, is like, maybe if I like, uh, just, uh, oh, uh, this arm, I tell you what, fucking some shit. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh my god, so dramatic. Okay. <laughs> She's under the dryer. Let her sit there for a while. And then I'll come back to you with the next step. Should we have a little look see and just, just see how she's going? She's only been in there for a few minutes, but like, hold on. Can you see that? I don't know, it doesn't feel very latexy. Maybe once now that I've shaken up the um that huge giant tub, then I might just do another layer over it, providing that the latex is better. I hope. Well let's just see if this is better. Mm, it is better. Yeah, it is. Def it's definitely thicker, so I'm, I might even like, oh God. <coughs> oh. 
Oh. Oh. Like, who needs this much latex? Yeah, that's better. Okay, good. All right, good stuff. Okay, because this is the this is the I mean, there will be more layers, but like this is the base layer, and I want this to be really sturdy. So I'm just gonna paint on. Oh yeah, that's much better. The other one was like water. Maybe I should have known to shake it. But I don't work with latex very often. Oh, strong. Oh. Oh, you see, that's not even stuck down. Okay, joy and rapture. That worked. That's sticky now, which is great. That's that's latexy. Which I'm... Thank you to the creative gods, because that would have really, really fucked me up. Anyway, okay, I'm just going to go and do a few more layers of this, just like I did before. And then um, tomorrow, Courtney's going to come in and we're going to do a fitting. We're going to cut her hairline um, and make sure it fits perfectly. And I always find that with these these like even though it's on her head you from my pre previous experience you got to cut down here and then do a little tuck and like hot glue it together and then it makes it sort of tight and solid so um but yeah i will most likely see you tomorrow with courtney maybe when we do our fitting we'll see though if i have any other dramas i'll let you know <laughs> oh one more thing before i go um i did the strips this way for the first round and then i'm going to alternate it and i'm going to do the strips that way for this round and that way it makes a nice grid okay oh hi okay well look i'm editing this video okay and um i did some filming today and i made like a cage for courtney for this this thing i originally was only going to be doing the skull cap but courtney's like oh no we include the cage and i was filming the cage for a different video because i wasn't sure how much i was allowed to talk about it because it's you know it's Usually everything with Courtney you can't talk about until it airs or until it's on. But anyway, um, she was like, no, 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 do it. So I did film it for another video, but I've put it in. And I was going to, like, you know, switch it around a little bit because when I start filming the skull cap again, I'm like, oh, hey, I'm back in this morning, blah, blah, blah. But I couldn't switch it around because I had my hair in ringlets drying it curly. And then I didn't, you know, anyway, it is what it is, Santa. <laughs> Hi. Um, okay, so this is an extension of what I'm doing for Courtney and her um, her latex skull cap. I'm not sure how much this I'm going to use, but you know, I'm going to film it because everything is content. Um, and it's quite interesting. I'm going to make it, I need to make a cage, like a, a soldered um, cage. So I need to create a base, um, which I will do. Oh, I need to see you too. Um, the difficult thing with Courtney is that she's actually really little and she gets, gets very easily swamped by things. So if things are too big, it really shows up on her. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see how this goes. Basically, I need to create, we're doing like a, like a it's gonna be like a cone, oh, uh, a, a caged cone. It's gonna be covered in a gauze or a fabric and then diamonded, it'll be really beautiful. And I'm gonna have, hopefully have like, you know, molded hair and stuff on it. And, and then we're gonna have a ponytail at the top. So it has to be quite strong and sturdy, but also it has to be the right size. It is gonna be a pretty elaborate, fabulous headdress. So like, I mean, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna sticky tape this up. I'm gonna make this like a little solid thing. Um, yeah, and I'll get back to you. Okay, well, I've worked it out. Um, I uh, spoke to the designer, Ashley, and we made a few changes. We made it more of a, a scorpion tail, a little shape, because um, she'll have a ponytail that comes out of here. I'm going to make a thing. But anyway, this is the design. I think it's going to be good. Time to get soldering. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm getting pretty good at this uh, soldering business now. It makes me feel like, I don't know, there's something familiar about it. Like maybe like, in one of my past lives, I was like a blacksmith or something, like working with metal, you know, um, or a jewelry maker. Who knows? Who knows? One of those creative jobs. But um, yeah, I I think I'm getting the knack of it a lot more than I did. 
in saying that, it still is, you know, I'm still making it up as I go along. I am gonna have to go out and get some more supplies though, because I am running out of a uh, soldering stuff. Like my work is much neater than what it was. Hmm. Fancy. Okay, hi. So, it's the next day. Um, I did another layer of this this morning because yesterday I was just like done and I had to go home. Um, that fourth COVID vaccine, whew, oh, it knocked me around. Um, so, I've done three layers of this now, and I'm hoping it's enough. I think it'll be enough. I mean, well, we'll see. And um, and we'll, we'll do a fitting in. Then if, if I need to put one more layer on, I can still do that. So let me just cut off the slack. I don't want to do too much trimming because I'll do that on Courtney's head. I might just cut this up the back just for now. Good. All right. Yeah, that feels firm. That feels firm. Okay, that's it. Latex skull cap. Yeah, that feels good inside. That feels fine. I was worried that um that bottom lay, because it was so runny yesterday, it wouldn't give um a good solid base, but it's, I think it's fine. But what I probably would do anyway is um do another layer, like a paint latex layer inside, just so it's really rubbery, because that rubberiness that really grips and it means that like you can put quite a lot of um like weight i mean good balanced weight of course um and you know it will stick to your head kind of thing so okay we'll wait for courtney to come in and we'll go from there okay so i have finished my soldering um i think i did a pretty good job i mean it's gonna be all covered as usual like it's not gonna this is not finished product obviously okay Oh. Yeah, that's good. You can't see. Nice and sturdy, which is good. It's gonna be great. Very creative. Very uh, fabulous. It's always nice to do like creative things at Courtney because it's so rare that we get to make her look like a drag queen. <laughs> so. I think it's gonna be great. Good stuff. <gasps> I'm back and guess who I'm. Oh, oh look what I've got. Look what he has. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, Vanessa will be very glad about this. Hi, Vanessa Bungle Bitch. I just saw her at House of Priscilla. She said that she misses your YouTube videos, that they were the highlight of her week. Oh, well, that's good. Well, they're coming back. They're um, coming slide, back. Slide, slide in. Get closer. I'm gonna push in my stool. <laughs> um, so. This, just, just just get it on so all this fits you. This is the most important part. All this is all coming off. So we're gonna slowly chip away at it until it fits. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. We'll just put a gold go down much lower than what I need to. Where's your ear? Where's the center of your ear, your ear hole? The top? The oh, my ear hole, hole is there. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me turn this and we'll come back. Ugh. But obviously we go slow because we don't want to take it all off in one go. Do you want me to tell you where I think my hairline is? It's not that far back. Go 
just here, but I think once I cut that line there, we might get that. So let's try that again. Hey, hello to the people at home. <laughs> you sweet baby. This is, the, this is the art, you know, this is the real art. It's the finesse you can't teach. Um, how does it feel in your ears? Yeah, good, thanks. Okay. Um, now, okay, so shall I tuck you in here now? Sure. Do you want to, do you want to? Do you want a stapler? You can do it Mini Cooper style. <laughs> Hi, Coops. Um, oh, we can make stapler jokes now. Couldn't we before? Yeah, but like but now, now we can make. Now we've got a, a, a whole new slew of jokes about staplers that we can add to the canon. Thank you. <laughs> Where's this mini shop? Staples. <laughs> <laughs> mini. Mini bars addresses. It's uh, office, office works. <laughs> 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 Alright, I'll come right back to my boyfriend. Um, and what I'll do as well is I'll lay text now all inside that as well for another layer so it's really sticky. <laughs> and I might even like do another line over the top so it's, it's joined. Oh, I woke up thinking about it this morning. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm in a bush. <laughs> devil face. Oh, yuck, Brenda. You fucking... <laughs> I should have run over your shoulder, but you know. <laughs> you dog. <laughs> Bop bamboo, snogging Danny Hello. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> this cage family sold it. Oh, you probably. Did they already. Oh! oh. oh. Brenda! <laughs> Did they already see it? Did yeah, I've shown it. But I was going to put it in a different video because I wasn't sure if I was allowed to show it. But I can, I can do it in this video. Yeah. How's it feel? Like, um. Like it's on, it fits. Like this is probably what I looked like when I first arrived from the factory. <laughs> <laughs> this is what all of the yeah. the me's look like. <laughs> if we get personalised. Yeah. Yeah, Annette and Gilberto, they were like, okay, we want, we want it with blonde hair, yeah. blue eyes, green, green eyes. But make one of them stare off into the yeah. distance. <laughs> And really buck tea. Oh, <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite pharaonic, isn't it? Like just like that. Yeah. Which I love. So I'm thinking that, providing we get, oh, we don't even need this on. That's been really fun. Thanks, guys. Oh, Bye, guys. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, Brenda. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. That's been really fun. Thanks, Thanks y'all. Thanks, folks. <laughs> we might as well sign off. Do we sign off together? Um. Thank, oh, yeah. Thanks for what? Is this it? Is this the video? This is the video. Yeah. Oh. Literally, it was just me making a skull cap, oh. showing them how to how to do it. One of these these latex skull caps. There you go. And I, you know, and we threw in a, a, a soldering crown soldering as well, cage, and little Courtney act as seen on TV. Oh. <laughs> thanks, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget to uh, click the subscribe button. Mm. <laughs> uh, flick it. Mm. <laughs> it's better than punch it. Don't forget to punch that subscribe button. Just Click the subscribe button. If you're gonna make it fun and oh, like okay. cute, oh, like you know, okay. individual, we're we're creative people, okay. you know. Jesus Christ. This is my wigs. I don't wear hair.